With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. We have been given a question. The question says, in the given circuit diagram, current in 2 ohm register is 2 ampere, then the current in 6 ohm register will be. So, we can see that we have been given a circuit diagram here. And what we have been given is that, we have been given that the current through the 2 ohm resistor, that is the 2 ohm resistor, that is equal to 2 ampere. So, we need to find the current through the 6 omega resistor, okay. So, we need to find the current through this. So, first of all, let's see what is happening here. Now, okay, here, if we see, we need to find the resistance first in the two branches, okay. So, if I consider this as point A, now this common point as point B, okay, the common point. Now, I need to calculate the resistance. So, first in between C and D, I take this point as C and this, some, this point here as D, okay. So, I will calculate the resistance between these two points and the resistance between these two points is 6 ohm and 3 ohm. So, in parallel resistors, what is the equivalent resistance? R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Okay. This is the equivalent resistance in a parallel resistors. So, if I put the formula here, then what will be R equivalent? That will be equal to 6 into 3 divided by, by 6 plus 3. So, that is equal to 18 by 9. That is equal to 2 ohm. So, we see that the equivalent resistance is 2 ohm. And here it is 1 ohm. In the opposite branch, it is 1 ohm and 2 ohm. So, these two branches have the same resistance, okay. 1 ohm, 2 ohm, 1 ohm and 2 ohm, okay. So, I found it so that I could find the current in this branch. We know the current in this branch since the 2 ampere current is flowing through this 2 ohm resistor. So, it is obviously flowing through the 1 ohm resistor also since the they are connected in series and when two resistances are connected in series, the same current passes through them. So, if the two resistances are same in the both branches, so what we can conclude is that if 2 ampere is flowing through this branch, then 2 ampere is also flowing through this branch. So, through branch this one AC, also the current is 2 ampere, the current is 2 ampere. Now, we have been told to find the current through the 6 ohm resistor. So, now again here, after the 2 ampere has come here, now it is facing a partition here and here. So, we need to apply the formula for the partition of current in a parallel set of resistors. So, what does this formula say? The formula says that if I calculate the current through a particular branch, so if I take the branch 1, so I1 is equal to total current I, multiplied by resistance of the other branch that is R2. So, I will write that once again. So, that will be R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Okay. So, what we can see here is that if we apply the formula here, so what will be the I1? We need to calculate I through 6 ohm. So, the total current was 2 into R2. R2 is the resistance of the other one. We have taken I1 as the current through 6 ohm. So, R2 will be 3 ohm. So, R2 is 3 ohm divided by R1 is 6 plus here it is 3. Okay. So, what we can see here is that this will become 6 divided by 9. Okay. So, it is 2 by 3 ampere. 2 by 3 ampere. So, this is here. So, this is our final answer. Our final answer is that the current through 6 ohm register was 2 by 3 ampere. I hope you understood the explanation. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.